just in case tonight. It's giving us a better look at what's going on behind the scenes as Chatham County prepares for the stand, uh, the storm. We go now to our Alex Little Hales. Hey, Alex. Well, the county's emergency management agency told us that it is simply too early to exactly determine what the local impact from the storm is going to be right in our area, mainly because they say the only certain thing about hurricane season is how uncertain it is. The storm is on the horizon. The storm could fizzle completely out. This storm could increase to a category one, and then we'd have to prepare for something higher than that. Chatham County's Emergency Management Agency is watching a tropical storm Isa Ias with a close eye. While still days away from the southeast, on the edge of the storm's cone of uncertainty lies the Savannah area. So it's really too early to tell what the impacts to our community could be right now. Dennis Jones with SEMA says it's in what's called OPCON 4, meaning no people or resources have been mobilized. But as storms change, so can plans. Well, our plans change every six hours. OpCon 4, which is where we are now, just allows us to have the opportunity to uh, enhance our communication, our coordination capabilities. So we start talking to people during OpCon 4. During OpCon 3, we start moving things. That's where you'll see things start to be mobilized if we go into operating condition three. Thursday was a day of meetings and education, making sure local agencies are on the same page something he's encouraging Chatham County residents to do now, too. Hey, this storm is out there. It's coming in our general direction. Dust off your plans. Make sure that they're ready to go. Check your emergency contacts. Dennis Jones also told us that the next step for the county would be the actual mobilization of resources and people, and that is called OpCon 3. And we turn things over now to our meteorologist, Victoria Kokinas, for the latest look on the storm. Victoria.